Hey guys, welcome back to another video of my Let's Play of 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a building video. So, I want to finally build a new horde base to not so much replace the old one, but have something to, um, to utilize first and use our original horde base as our uh, fallback, which is that fella over there. So, he will be plan B if plan A falls over but I'm hoping that plan A is going to hold and we'll, um, it all sort of depends on how it sort of works out but um, what I'm sort of thinking is I'm going to sort of do like a um, well not, not so much of a, of a tunnel but more of like a gauntlet sort of style base I guess but it's going to be very very narrow and it's going to basically use hatches it's going to be single file, so they're only just going to get in there, um, you know, a few out of uh, a few at a time. And pretty much what it's going to be relied upon me is my ammo. Okay, so my weapons, repair kits, and ammo finally. And it's sort of going to um, hopefully sort of, um, you know, slow them down to an extent, but also me just um, basically just laying into them like no tomorrow. That's basically what I'm thinking about. So we're going to sort of give that a crack and see how that goes. Ultimately, the base is sort of going to be made to, um, you know, made to fail in a sense. And basically, um, uh, it's going to be more or less in regards to things like um, the hatches that I'm going to be using. Um, but we'll sort of get into that as we sort of progress into the video. But I sort of wanted to give you guys a bit of context as we sort of, um, you know, um, build up the actual ba uh, the base itself. And you guys get a bit of an understanding on what I'm sort of trying to achieve. But um, I've got all systems go on pretty much all of my workstations except for the workbench at the very minute. Um, at the moment, having the need to get um, gas, ended up uh, mining a hell, of, a hell of a lot of shale. And as you can see, the results speak for itself. I've got nearly, uh, you know what, um, pretty much close on 30,000 worth of um, fuel. Won't have to worry about that at the moment. And I've got some um, cement happening at the moment on both of these fellows here. So we should have about 1,500 that's cooking up at the moment. I've got 2,000 sitting there with me at the minute. Um, got a hell of a lot of um, bullets uh, tips that are happening at the moment and the bullet casings to go with it. What I'm actually going to need to sort of suss out at the moment is um, gunpowder. Okay, so I'm going to have to find um, some nitrate uh, mines, some coal mines, and I'm going to have to start making some... Um, gunpowder as well. Unfortunately, I don't have the schematic for either of this or this, which is a bit of a pain in the bum, but it's just something I have to sort of work to and aspire to, and hopefully I will find it. Um, I don't really want to spec into um, the chem station at all, but we'll see how we go with it. I think I can sort of get by with what I've got, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what we're sort of looking at doing today. So we'll sort of get into it. Um, and as I said before, the, the original Horde base did quite well to stand up in the latest Horde, um, horde attack, which was day 21. So we didn't do too badly. I sort of made a couple of um, Band-Aid fixer uppers here. So I've sort of extended out this a little bit here, um, fixed up that. I'll go ahead and go around and sort of refix everything as I need to, but it's pretty much stood up. And it could probably go another round as it sits. Um, just sort of maybe fi fix up that. And there's another bar that was sort of broken in as well. That's probably going to be the only thing I'm going to probably need to do and possibly maybe reinforce um, the top line there, the roof there, just to sort of fix it up. And of course, the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the side exit here that they sort of made themselves um, in that horde night. But again, this is going to be um, further down the pipeline here. And we're sort of going to get um, onto it today and sort of make ourselves a, um, a, a new kind of horde base. And like I said, it's going to be something um, different. Um, I know a few... Um, whoops. Let's get out of that. I know a few um, a few people have actually made a very similar base to this. Um, but I sort of wanted to, you know, sort of give it a crack myself. And um, actually, do I want to do it here? And do I want to do it there or there? Um, actually, let's make it there. Why not? Anyway, so basically what we're going to sort of set up and do is I'm going to make a bit of a staircase happening and we're sort of going to sort of build from there. That's basically what we're sort of looking at. Oop, I should actually get out of that. Uh, go back to shape and go back to the normal blocks. Boom and boom. And then we can sort of go back to the, um, uh, where are we? The stairs. Very good. 
So the cool thing about Flag Zone is that you pretty much get all the shapes um, that are made available to you, so they can actually, you know, run up, do their thing, all that sort of good stuff. So, yeah, it's um, it's basically um, yeah, a, a very versatile uh, style of um, uh, material that you can actually use. What I might actually do is I might just corner this off while I'm sort of thinking about it now. Uh, let's go there, perfect. So these guys will just be able to run up and basically um, they're going to sort of get funneled into the uh, the gauntlet that I'm sort of calling it at the moment. I don't know why I keep doing that, but that's all right. Um, okay, so flagstone block. Um, basically, I'm, I'll upgrade these, you know, in due course as well. Um, just debating on whether I'll make it three or four high. I think I'm actually going to make it four high. Um, that's pretty much where I'm sort of going to sort of leave it at. Um, okay, so let's just go rotation again. Oh, sorry, change to that. And oop, ah, seriously, I didn't hit copy rotation, didn't I? That's okay. And stop. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And actually, this should be on that. There we go. Boom. So it's three high. I'm thinking about making it one higher, and only just so I can protect myself in case if I get um, attacked upon. So it's basically what I'm sort of going to do, and then we can um, sort of get to the um, nicer stuff that we sort of want to do with this. So let us quickly run back, because I thought I would have had enough. Who was that? We got a zombie in the house. That's okay, I'm going to leave you alone. For now, of course. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab some of that leave that there as you can see I've sort of done a little bit of organization here on my part and we will want to make some flagstone block I think about 30 will do the trick that's gonna be an issue there all right so if you want to come out lady because I think you're a chick anyway come out whenever you're ready and um, I will deal with you accordingly so we will jump over here and cool so you, you're pretty much nearly done as it is uh, okay shape let's go back to the block what I probably should have done at the start was probably dig a bit of a um, bit of a trenching but I think I should be okay with the stairs themselves as they are but we'll see how we go I'm gonna upgrade them anyway um, so they'll be okay once everything's all said and done anyway as it is Oops. I want to copy rotation, I want to change my shape, there we go, and there we go, boom, very good. Alright, so that's basically stage one, and then what we're going to sort of do here is we're going to sort of work our way, actually you know what I should have done, should I have made a, uh -huh. Uh -huh. there's not going to be a center. Alright, so... I might make a third. Um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be the way to do it. All right. Oop. Shouldn't have done that. Anyway, that's not too bad. It's it's a, it's a minor boo boo, but it's not a massive one. So we should be a okay with that. There we go. Uh, because m most of the zombies anyway are going to pretty much do a bit of a runoff as it is. So I'm not really too overly worried about that. Um. Um, I might make the spine now just quickly upgradable and just so long as I've got that sorted out so I don't sort of block this out All right. I'll just make the cement out of that didn't want, want to use it at the beginning but that's okay alright so regular cement for that should be fine and I'll put some reinforce Oop, no 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 uh, later on, so when I sort of go to upgrade the whole lot kind of thing. Alrighty, so that is broken through. And we've got a neat little, um, whatchamacallit, stairwell happening, which is awesome. There's the corner. Let's bang that in there. Okay, so basically they're just going to have the ability to run up, so there's going to be a few of them that are going to have that ability to run up, which is good. So what I want to do is, I'm going to do some markings. So basically, we're going to go 
So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and possibly five here, and then we're going to break open this. Okay, so we've got the center ready to go. So I, I think signal, single, uh, uh, single pile. Actually, you know what? Maybe what I should do is I might do it a little bit different. Actually, actually, it will. Hmm. <laughs> I sort of made a bit of a mess on this. I think I, I know I've done this not the way that I sort of wanted to do or envision it because essentially what I wanted to do was I wanted to sort of make two pile 100s next to each other um, and that may you know that that'll give a lot more stability to the actual um, uh, base itself maybe what I should do is I might make them separate it on a part here yeah all right let's do it that way all good all good basically changing changing this sort of on the fly so you know this shouldn't be much of a issue or even that of a setback so that's fine with me one two and i'll just block that up anyway so okay so we've got one two three four and then the fifth one so one two three four and then the fifth one and oops, let's just this time around actually you know what I'll just do consistency. You know what? Let's just probably we'll we'll do the two on either side, and then maybe we may upgrade it and do the center as well. Yeah, that might work out. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, and then the fifth. And then we got this. Open up this. And this is just so they, they don't really break it down predominantly earlier on into the Horde Knight if they can't, you know, get themselves into the little tunnel there, as I'm sort of calling it at the moment. I mean, it doesn't mean, doesn't sound like much now, but it's all going to sort of come together eventually. All right, I'll, I'll make one more and then we'll start building this thing up. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one. Boom. Cool. All right. Boom. And then, boom, there we go, easy, cool, boom, and boom, and then we're going to go to shape, and now, unfortunately, we're very um, restricted with the type of um, frames that we can use for the rebar, which is a bit of annoyance, but what can you do? Um, okay, so that's three high, I want to go four high, there we go, all right, so that's four high, and then later on, I'll sort of go through it and um, and then fix it up, kind of thing. But we've got one. Ooh, oh, what did I do that for? Oh well. All right. Let's just fix it up. Let's just break her down. There we go. And all right. So let's stand on this one, two, three, four. And then again, one, two, three, four. And just basically continue on, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, whoop, one, two, three, whoop, four, there we go, one, two, three, four, perfect, okay. I'm hoping that this will be enough for it. Oh, do I have a... Oh, I've got a Wandering Horde. All right, guys. Hello. Have you met Lucille yet? Well, you have now. Look at that. Two shot, these things. Two shot. Oh, love it. Love it. All right, let's go get these guys as well. I can use some of the experience. Boom. <laughs> and there you go, flying. Hello. Oops. Very good. Boom. Ooh, you took three hits. And you took the single hit. Yeah, there's a lot of you guys around the back here. Yes. Hello. Ooh, hey. Nice. Yes, you stay down. I hear these guys inside here, so... It doesn't matter. 
it doesn't matter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we'll head back up here. I think I might have to make one more. Yeah, I think I might have to make one more. Um, what you call it? One more level. That's all right. We'll fix it up. Definitely fix it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is copy, oh, change the shape over back to normal. And can I get it fixed it there? Boom, 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 boom. And boom. All right, yeah, I'm going to definitely need to make um, the... Ah, uh, didn't want to do that. <laughs> going to have to make one more level, which is fine. Which is fine. Okay. Can I... One. Two. Okay. And uh, we've got the center. Boom. 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 Okay. And boom. Can I get the next one? Fantastic. And that one there. Boom. 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 And I'll try to make it a little bit aesthetically pleasing as well on the eye. Um, can't you know guarantee that it will be um, a beautiful setup but you know it is what it is um, okay so the next thing I want to do is um, oh, again I keep doing that I keep going for the wrong button all right so we go for the ramp here um, I think we have to go into advanced for this one actually Oop, I think I had it too um, all right, all right, slow down Um, come on. Oh, did I? Ha I actually did have it too. All right, so I'm basically looking at that anyway. So let's just do this one side here. Oop, boom, boom, boom. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a success or not, or you know, if this is just going to fail on its own. Who knows? But I'm sure we will definitely find out exactly how this works soon enough. So. We've only got a couple of days before Horde Night is um, is upon us, so I'd rather get this in early and get the earlier stages of this sort of, you know, um, down pat. So at least this way, you know what, this is so hard trying to work this out. Okay. Oh, I, I had it, I had it. Okay. Oop. Okay. This is the most annoying thing I've ever had to do. Alright, oh, I just had it. Honestly. Okay, good. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. So, we'll get the foundation done and there's going to be a ton of XP happening as well. It's going to be a ridiculous amount of XP, so I'm super excited for this. How, much le how many levels I'm going to sort of leap from here. It's going to be absolutely crazy. So we'll sort of start that now. And what I might actually end up doing is I might put some, um, uh, some what do you call it? Uh, some uh, iron spikes. That's what I'm looking for. And just sort of protect this area around here just in case. Because, you know, you don't know exactly how uh, the zombies are going to sort of take on the, the base, I guess. So... We'll see how that goes. Um, boom, boom, boom. So what I was sort of planning with this next horde base, oh sorry, this next horde night is I'll see how I go with the new bat, see how long I can sort of sustain it, and if it becomes more of a um, of an issue, then I'll switch over to guns and I'll let the guns take over for the rest of the night, and we'll sort of you know clamp them down because I think this should be enough to be honest with you. So, but like I said, we'll see how it sort of you know, takes a shape, I guess, at the end of the day. Um, cool. Alright, so I think I need to make one more step up. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, so we'll go back to shape, go back to the blocks for, this, for the meantime, and just sort of get that pre-prepared. There we go, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, two, one, and I've ran out of Blackstone. Um, I'm probably going to need four. Very good. Actually, missing one more. Oh. Actually, I'm just going to need one more, actually. One more. What am I saying? 
Um, sorry. Boom. And let's just go into the shape. And let's just go to stairs. There we go. And then I'll do the corner ones, just sort of feeding it in so they can just sort of run into it. So, all right. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, corner, corner, corner. Thank you very much. I think you're good for that. And then, cool. There we go. It's a bit of a bit of a run up, but hey, see how it goes. And here comes the XP again. Hopefully, I've got enough um, uh, cement for this. But like I said, I'm, I've been cooking up more, so hopefully that will come through if and when I need it. Boom. And this is going to go straight to reinforced concrete. So this is basically what I'm sort of after. I don't have to do any sort of additional upgrading except for the stairs. So the stairs are not going to be too much of a problem. I'll knock that out you know, quite easily kind of thing. And then boom, boom, boom. At least I've got the base done. That's probably my biggest objective here. And then I can sort of work on the sides and everything else and then the roof. I'm um, still thinking about what I'm going to do for the roof. What I'm thinking is probably I'm going to use, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, iron bars. And I'll just use utilize the iron bars there. So um, if um, vultures are above me, at least I can sort of shoot them real quickly and deal with them straight away. They may spit down on you or on me as well. It is what it is. So I'm not too overly worried about that. Um, I guess, I'd be, oh, no, no, no. Oh no, did I break it? Oh, I need iron. Okay, well, you know what? I'll fix it up. That's fine. Uh, that's not not a problem. Okay, hit the wrong button, as you do. Okay. And then what I might do is I might extend it, this out a little bit and make a little platform for myself. So if I need to run or take a, um, you know, basically jump off the um, this here and run over to here, I can easily do that. You know what I mean? So that will probably be it for that part there. And... I did see a zombie before, didn't I? Oh, there she is. Right, let's just go deal with her quickly. And I might just grab some of the iron um, that I need just to repair that. Hello. Bye bye. And I think I've got the iron now situated in here. I do. Okay, and let's just jump back over here. Um, oop, out of stamina, it's always the way. Alright, so let's fix this up and upgrade that. Awesome! So, awesome. The cement is starting to dry, which is great. So I hope I'll be well and truly prepared for this Horde Knight. That's, that's my aim. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and fix up the shape. And then, yeah, like I said, this is just going to be pretty much a singular sort of run through no one's going to sort of get in or out well they can get in like i said i expect it to sort of go down that pathway but obviously um it's going to be the hatches that i'm thinking of will hopefully put up a fight for me that's what i'm hoping and basically because they'll see the hatches as the weakest point um they won't bother breaking down um the these sides here. That's basically what I'm thinking. And hopefully that'll be enough for it to actually um, sort of um, hold its own. And then if we do three high, um, if I do anything higher than that, then they'll be able to jump over with the um, with the hatches. Well, despite the hatches, so I'm not going to do that. So three high should be sufficient. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm going to get a lot of XP when this when this is all um, ready to be upgraded. And boom. And then boop. And then what I can do here is I'll have like a, a neat little door kind of thing. So I won't have a problem with that. And I've still got a bit of rebar, which is good. So I'm, ha I'm happy with, um, with everything that I've done so far. So let's just grab all and finish this off. So as you can see, it's sort of taking shape, and to be honest, it really doesn't take long to actually make. So it's not one of those tedious bases where you have to actually take your time and, you know, well, 
do a minor bit of planning, not so much, but as you can see, it's not too bad. Yes, it's going to cost you in a bit of resources and things like that, but look, it's to be expected. And at least this way, this is just going to be another defense that I can use in conjunction with this fella here. And as they sort of run up, they're sort of going to get them their way up here. I'm going to have hatches, you know, every so often, kind of thing, one after the other. And you know what, I think that might be enough. I don't think I'll have to go any further than that. And I'll have this as my little platform here. And I'll just have like a little door there. That actually might, might actually work out. Alright, I think that I think that might be the way to go. Awesome. So let's just go and upgrade everything that we can before, well, you know, before I run out of um, cement and then I'll basically um, pick up the rest that I've got in the mixer. And then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the... Um, the gist of it. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. And then what I'm thinking is, if we go to the hatch. Now, I was thinking about this. Is this too expensive for me to make purely because... Um, I don't know if they, the zombies will jump over. I've, I've got a funny feeling that they will jump over. So, I'm not going to use this. I thought about it and, and then I thought about it again. And I think the... Possibly the spacing may be too narrow for this. So I think the iron hatches are going to be the way to go for me. So if I craft up a number of these, and then depending on how many blocks, I've, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Well, let's, let's say we've got about, let's say we've got 15. Because at least I'll have two blocks here at the end. And, um... So I've got about 15 hatches that they have to go through before they, um, well, pretty much before, you know, anything happens or anything hits the fan kind of thing. And what I was also thinking as well, which um, is going to sort of aid in that, is I'll have to go into the, the flagstone block, but there is like a, um, sort of like a center block that you can put in between here. And I'll upgrade that to reinforced concre uh, concrete as well. And then on top of that, I'll put the, um, what do you call it? the iron bars on top of that and then that way I won't have any problems of any birds jumping in I did this in my test world as well and I, I didn't put the iron bars on top and that's where I found that um, that vultures sort of came in and sort of had a bit of a party on me so that's basically it with that and so you know with that being said that's pretty much where I'm sort of going with this so hopefully you guys sort of um, you know get the, the general understanding on, on how I sort of want to do this so I'll try my best with the with the bat, and then I'll, I'll flick over to um, arm weapons, and then just try and see out the the horde knight when when the time comes. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video. Um, if you like what you've seen, be sure to hit the like button and share if you can. That'll be uh, most appreciated. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, if you haven't seen this before and you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit the notif uh, notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, I'm out. Take it easy and I shall catch you next time.